Hi Gemini, welcome to your love reading. This is going to be for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Venus and Rising. These are general messages so they may or may not resonate. If it doesn't, you can always check your other placements. And the messages can be vice versa. I'll also be pulling some cards for single Geminis towards the end. So let's see. What's going on with Gemini when it comes to love? Okay. Um, optimism. Staying optimistic, staying positive about your love situation. We have dream come true. Okay. So I'm seeing that the more positive you are about your situation, the happier you're going to be. Okay. Obviously, we have surrender to the divine. We have growth. So negativity is not welcome at all in your situation. You're needing to just leave it to the, to the universe. Surrender. Put it in the hands of the universe and watch your dreams come true. Watch yourself. Get what you want. Seeing growth in your love life. What are the love messages for Gemini? Express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. We have engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. We have you deserve love. You are lovable. And we have retreats. It's time to disconnect from the world. So you really do need to kind of detach and just leave it to the universe. You're a Gemini, you're an air sign. So that shouldn't be hard. But I feel like doing that is going to lead you to higher level of commitment you may even have your person expressing love to you um taking a break and just leaving it to the universe is key to your success right now let me see what we got here so the person gemini has in mind what's their energy towards goodness okay someone is heartbroken here gemini they still feel a connection with you, but they seem to be, wow, well, you see, king of, king of cups. They could be an Aquarius, we have the star card here. This person is definitely, they're feeling hurt about something, and keep in mind it can be vice versa. But there's still the feeling of this strong connection, however, someone's just upset right now. Someone is just in their feelings, not wanting to deal, but still wanting this relationship. What's Gemini's energy towards their person? Knight of Wands. Okay. You do have a lot of passion when it comes to this person. There's still attraction. You guys may be in separation though. But you're still seeing yourself as with them. I see that a lot of you, I mean, you got the Queen of Wands. They could be a Leo. For some of you you are just doing you some of you are finding it quite easy to just let it go and just leave it to the universe but i do see that you, you're still very much into this person what's the mutual energy here okay mm. Both of you are definitely just not in the mood right now. These cups in reverse, it's like both of you may be dealing with some emotional issues with this relationship. Yeah, it's definitely best to just stay positive and let it be. Pushing this situation even more is gonna push more emotional conflict here. What's coming up in the near future for Gemini and their connection? Okay, there's going to be communication. Okay, you guys are going to come out of a break. <laughs> We've got the Four of Swords in reverse. You guys will, you will be making peace. Because we got the, the Knight of Cups. So someone is going to come forward. As soon as they're done being upset, they're going to come forward. There's going to be a, a, a conversation with the Page of Pentacles. I feel like this person, they definitely just need time. They're definitely coming forward. And definitely want to come out of a break. I felt that from the beginning because they have the high priestess. So it's like they're upset, but the high priestess is there. So there's still there's still a spiritual type of connection going on. So 
that's not one that's easily broken. So let me see. Let me put your main spread. What's going on with Gemini when it comes to love? So cute, your feelings. <laughs> okay, this person has a lot of eights. We got the devil here, they could be a Capricorn for some of you. We got Taurus energy, we've got, that's it so far. But, wow, you definitely are in love. You are in a happy state, I feel like, I feel like this is why some of you are able to just kind of let this go for now and just let it be, let it, let, it, let it unfold on its own because maybe you're in the Christmas spirit, I don't know, but you have this 10 of cups, which is pure happiness, emotional fulfillment and love. Maybe this is how you're going to be in the near future when you guys reconnect or you're in this energy right now, but definitely there can be reconciliation with the six of cups. You're definitely reminiscing on the past with this person. But you're seeing them as a five of swords. So you know that they're right now being in their mood. So you've accepted that and it's like, cool. But I'm still happy. <laughs> we have the eight of pentacles, eight of wands. They're, they're feeling towards you. They're, they're going to take action. This is an action card. So the ace of wands, this means that they're going to act on their feelings for you. And as we saw earlier, their feelings for you are quite strong and spiritual with the high priestess. This means they're, that that knight of cups that came out is them because they're about to take action on how they feel they're just in a mood i feel right now they're just not happy at the moment so you have every reason to just not worry and to just stay positive like this is like easy breezy beautiful for you and um they're seeing you as the seven of pentacles so this person kind of knows that you're waiting for them i feel like they're aware that they're they're, that they're sulking right now or in a mood they know that you're waiting i almost feel like this person wishes you would give them more attention while they are in their mood or you know something like that but it doesn't mean you have to i just get the sense that they they're like kind of bums that you maybe they wanted them maybe they're doing it for attention i don't know but uh, Cross, -watching, cross watchers, if you are doing this for attention, you know that Geminis are detached. They're probably just going to wait for you to come around. <laughs> um, this doesn't mean that the Gemini doesn't love you. They just being a Gemini. So anyways, you got the magician, mutual energy. Like I said, this is, this is a really, a, a, I was going to say very and really at the same time. It's a very strong connection that's already been established the problem is this page of cups as well as blocking i'm wondering if your person is expecting an apology from you because they did have the three of cups sorry three of, three of swords keep in mind if this is vice versa it could be you waiting for an apology from your person and kind of being in a mood because they haven't done it yet but i see that someone is that's why i felt like they're waiting for your attention because someone's waiting for for the Gemini to say something, you know. We got the devil here as the outcome. I want to clarify this first before I even say anything because I don't know why he's here, to be honest. Why is the devil here as the outcome for Gemini? Some of you are dealing with an Aries or a Sagittarius. Wow. You guys are definitely tied to each other. However, 
This devil can represent the fact that for some of you, this person has been sulking on purpose because they want your attention. Um, but nonetheless, this is there's no disconnection in this relationship, especially if you guys are married because you do have a hierophant here. Especially if you're already married or have been together for a while. You guys are not disconnecting from each other. The temperance is letting you know in divine timing you will reconcile with this person, Six of Cups. But maybe they're just being this emperor right now, trying not to show any emotion and expecting you to say something. And again, it could be vice versa. Why the Eight of Wands? Yeah, they're gonna they're gonna take Eight of Wands again. They're gonna take action for sure. Like this is if you're wondering when your person's coming back or if they're coming back. They are. This is pure, pure action. This is not someone who is who is done with you and walking away. This is someone who's gonna act on how they feel about you very soon. Why the eight of pentacles? They're in love, but they just they need time. I see them trying to make a decision. Seven of Cups. But the King of Cups, they, they're in love with you. They're just giving themselves time. They're probably working on themselves a little bit or stay, trying to stay focused on work or they could be busy trying to work up, you know, for the holidays to have free time in the holidays. But this, this person's taking action for sure. Why the Five of Swords? Yeah, you, you're aware that they've pulled away. They pulled away. But it's very temporary. Why the page of cups blocking pride and ego here? They, someone may let go of the fact that there's been no apology. But for right now, it's like you guys are on a break because there's something that hasn't been said and someone's waiting for someone to say that and it hasn't happened. But soon that may change. Like they may come forward regardless. I'm seeing like someone who didn't get what they want, but is still coming back because they don't want to let the relationship go. So they, it's like when, you know, when someone goes on, like when a, when a certain group of people go on strike, <laughs> like when they go on strike and then, but nothing happens, nothing changes. So they just get back to work. It's like that. Okay. It doesn't mean that they'll never get an apology or if you're waiting for an apology, it doesn't mean you'll never get it, but you're probably not going to get it um, right away. Probably going to reconcile first and then it leads to expression of love and apology. But whoever is sulking and ran away is waiting for something they're not going to get yet until you guys actually speak like adults. What's the advice for Gemini? Expect powerful change. Bring love into the situation. Some of you are dealing with an Aquarius or a Leo. Don't let your pride get in the way. And confidence is your key to success. Two Leo cards here. But pride, you see, it could be a Leo who's waiting for you to apologize. They got, you already know that Leo got pride and they're probably letting that get in the way, but they may decide, okay, I'm going to just go towards Gemini. But this is very temporary. Like this, this is nothing to really worry about for you is what I'm seeing. So we have Pisces, Energy, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo and Aquarius and Capricorn let me look at the singles see what's going on for single Gemini's okay what's going on with the single Gemini the messages for single Gemini who's coming towards them
Libra energy again, Aries and Sagittarius. Gemini, these are the same cards that are coming out. You see how aggressively I shuffled. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Again, with the Eight of Wands, there's someone coming towards you with like definitely someone coming towards you. The Eight of <laughs> the Eight of Wands and the Eight of Pentacles came out in this deck for your person, not this deck, and now they're coming out in this in this deck side by side again. So right now, this person is trying to distract themselves with work, but I'm, I'm seeing that devil card. So it's like, they try to do that, but they fail. They end up coming towards you anyways. Their feelings get the best of them and they're just going to come towards you. Like, that's it. <laughs> um, we've got the emperor. Okay. So divine timing, there's going to be reconciliation. This person may try to front like they don't have the feelings, especially... If they have Leo in their chart, they might try to put on this front as if they haven't been missing you like crazy. But it could be that they're Aries. I feel like any fire sign would do this. Like make it seem like they didn't have um, feelings or they weren't missing you. But you're watching this reading so you know the truth. So you can just look at them with that look, okay? When they're acting like they didn't miss you or trying to play it cool so um there, there could be a water sign coming towards you pisces cancer scorpio but i really feel like the person coming towards you if you're totally single and you don't know who this person is who you've been dealing with if you're totally totally single um there may be a water sign coming towards you it could be um libra aries sagittarius as well for some of you but the thing is, this person, they may take it very slow with you. Um, this may be someone who, even, even when they catch feelings, they do take a while to show them or reveal them. But I do see someone mature coming towards you, so that's good news. Someone who is, who knows what they want, but they just may be moving quite slowly. What other messages here for Gemini? If you're ready. Not the right time. If you believe and reconsider. So. With not the right time, I feel like that connects with the whole thing where this person may take a while. They may take it slow. I'm talking about people who are totally single here. Not someone who's coming back, but someone new the new person coming into your life they may take it slow but you will be ready and i feel like the fact that they take it slow you may be happy about this because it allows you to fall in love naturally or to get to know them naturally instead of just rushing into this love thing that ends quickly okay so there's there's a lot of good in that but I do see, even for singles, your higher level is going to, you, you have your higher level. Your love life is ascending to a higher level. It may happen slowly for you, but slow is better in love because rushing is, is a red flag. So I do see someone coming in like very slowly and they may be, they could even be the emperor type. You know, very serious, very straightforward. This is good news. Nobody wants someone who's flaky and, you know, doesn't know what they want. At least you got king, a king coming towards you or emperor type. But they're going to take their time. And I see that with temperance, a lot of you are fine with that. Okay, so Gemini. It's been some good messages, especially for those of you who are in love with someone who is sulking. They will come forward the, as long as you just let it go. Surrender to the universe. You will get what you want dream come true I don't feel like that's going to be hard for you to do it's going to be a breeze for you like you can just enjoy your holidays <laughs> so Gemini this is what I'm seeing we have Capricorn energy Pisces Cancer Scorpio Aries Leo Sagittarius and Libra mostly feel free to check your other placements if you want to know what else is coming up for you 
Like if you enjoyed. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next one.